What's up everyone, welcome back to your 38th PHP tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to stick with uh, the object oriented PHP aspects of programming and we're going to be covering something called scopes. Now this was in the last tutorial, you know those keywords that said public, private, and you know that stuff that popped up in blue that we really didn't know what it meant. Well in this tutorial I'm going to cover the pretty much the introduction of what scopes are and why you need them and why they are useful so anyways let's go ahead and create a variable like we did before actually the first thing we need to do is make a class let's go ahead and make a class call it tuna or something like that if you watch my Java tutorials I pretty much named every single class tuna so hey might as well stick to it so let's go ahead and make two different kinds of variables one of them will be public and just name this you know like fish one and I will name this fish stinky pretty good name for a fish and make another variable but type the keyword private before this one and just go ahead and name this variable like fish2 and I shall name you hmm, something different than stinky I shall name you smelly goody because he smells good alright now check this out at the very basics of scope another word for scope is pretty much where can you use this variable so the two main ones I want to go over in this tutorial are public and private there are um, a couple of other ones um, and those are well I won't even tell you guys what those are right now but for now just know that there's two different types of variables that you can use a public variable and a private variable a public variable means you can use this variable anywhere you can use it in this class you can use it in this program you can use it anywhere in your entire program now check this out whenever you put private before a variable this means that you are only allowed to use it in this class right here if you try using this variable out here it's not gonna work so private means that you know it's like a this class is a private club and only these variables are invited but public means that it's public to your entire program pretty much um it's a little different than that but anyways let me show you guys an example and maybe you'll understand a little bit better what this means so anyways let's go ahead in our body where we can actually echo things out and see them and go ahead and create an object I'll name it my object oops so you can clearly see what's going on and again in order to create a new object put new since we're creating it new type the name of your class which mine was tuna and we don't put anything in the uh, parentheses for now now let's just go ahead and echo out both of these variables and see what happens again like I said this one should echo fine my object which means we're using the tuna class and let's go ahead and echo out the variable fish one and remember this is the public one and like I told you you can use public variables anywhere so we're good right here so this should echo out the word stinky as long as I didn't have any typos or anything like that now let's go ahead and copy this because I'm lazy to type it and let's go ahead and try to echo out the variable fish2 but check this out since fish2 is private that means that we're only allowed to use it in this class right here we're not supposed to be using it way out here in the rest of our program this fish2 named smelly goody he's only a private member of this class so let's go ahead and save it say you know what f php rules we don't care we're gonna try to use it anyways so let's go ahead and refresh this did i refresh it i hope so move it over again i'm not using wamp or amp or damp or anything like that so let's go ahead check this out here's what we get we got stinky echoed out just fine since it's public no problems there but then we tried to echo out this other variable that was private and we got a whole bunch fatal error cannot access oh my god I think the FBI is gonna come and shoot me in the head for trying to do that anyways here's what happens when you try to use private variables outside of your class it just doesn't work you get a bunch of death threats from your browser and it's just not a good result so anyways you're saying alright so I understand the use of actually let me do this and a little bit of this and a little bit of column a a little bit of column b alright so anyways you're saying alright why wouldn't you just use public variables everywhere then 
it just seems like it would be easier instead of getting errors and aside from that why would you ever want to use a private variable well these are questions that I'm gonna answer in tutorials to come pretty much it's just a safer way to program and when you're doing data validation you pretty much always not I don't wanna say always for the most part you typically want to use private variables so if you're saying alright then how can I have a way to access or pretty much to output this name in my program because if we have a variable like that and we can't even use it it's no use well in order actually alright I think I got time to cover in this tutorial in order to let's say you have a private variable and you want to echo it out what you need to do is you need to build a function that is public and since this function has access to this variable let's let me go ahead and build this and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about remember anything public can be used outside of this class aka in our program so go ahead and write public function but you have to spell it right function and we just be like say my name biatch but I won't say biatch my grandma will get mad at me alright anyways now what we need to do is the only thing this function is going to do is echo the variable so remember anytime we use a variable inside the same class use the keyword this which means I'm using stuff from this class now put your load arrow to fish to now check this out since this function is inside this class and this variable can be used anywhere inside this class this is actually valid if this function was out here it would be invalid and give you an error but since this function is inside this class it can use any variable it want public private doesn't matter so it's a, it's kind of like a way of tricking PHP and since we can't use this variable directly outside the class we need to make a public function which does have access to this variable and then we can call this function from outside our class and it'll work just fine so let's go ahead and since this is a fatal error we need to comment it out because fatal is going to crash your program and now what we want to do is actually well, I'll type this out my object which pretty much means something from that tune class and use the function say my name so let me explain this before I actually run it what this is going to do is first it's going to output what was his name stinky right there and then it's going to say alright in the tune class do whatever is in the function say my name so it's going to go up here make sure it's public which it is and it's going to say alright what do you want to do I want to echo a variable from this class named fish2 so it's going to echo stinky and smelly goody let's put a space right there so it looks a little bit neater so anyways let's go ahead and save that and run this bad boy let me do this a little bit of this a little bit of that and let's see what we get stinky smelly goody how beautiful is that so anyways the point I'm trying to get across in this tutorial is you can only use private functions and private variables inside the class where you created them but if you make something public you can pretty much use it anywhere and again I didn't really show you how this is useful in this tutorial but in the upcoming tutorials I'll show you guys why this is a better way to do things sometimes and how it's gonna make your life programming a whole lot easier so for now just understand the concept of that and in the tutorials to come you will see why this is actually useful so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and uh, I don't know I have like a minute left to tell you guys what to do um, send me some Christmas presents in the mail uh, if you would bake me a cake, that would be great. And anyways, just check out my websites, and I'll see you guys later.